to the suburbs. Was this a jump cut or was that the end of an episode? Um, that was the end of an episode. So we didn't jump cut, we jumped cut to a new episode. Okay, hey, what's up? Hey, hey oh. I to make go ham on a video game. <laughs> My favorite part about Doom was when they picked up a gun and, uh... Me of my parents. Oh, you go. You know what else reminds me of my parents? These demons. Okay, now, <laughs> now I sound like Monomy. I'm sorry. You know what really reminds me of this is some demons. <laughs> you sound like a cross between uh, one of your Dagon Rumpa voices and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no. oh. I guess my Monomy voice and my Mickey voice are pretty much the same. We don't condone violence here on the island. No. <laughs> What other fr- okay, yeah, I, mean, I also gave McCon a similar voice. You think I'm smelly, don't you? But wow! One shot it, baby. That's in your face. <laughs> Such a disgrace. Kicking Ow. your can all over the place. Saying demon, demon, shotgun. But I love my monomy voice. I don't know. I, oh, hey, it's Luke. Oh, God. Hey, hey. guys. Hey, guys. Special guest. Special, Special guest. guest. Oh, I hit the thing. Luke. He's- Packing my beer, or orange. packing my fridge with beer. Give me orange oh. cider. Fox. Please. Peace, thank you. Orange blossom? Orange blossom. All right. Uh, Vince, are you grabbing anything? I already, already have some. one. Okay. I brought I some it, sir. space dust. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, Luke? <laughs> hey, everybody, we're recording already, and it's Luke. All right. Uh, oh, oh, I was gonna, I was gonna sit there too. Oh my bad. Okay. No, it's okay. Now I feel like a dick. <laughs> here's your, here's your coaster. No, don't feel like a dick. That's okay, all good. okay. Just want to make sure. You can shut the door if you want. You can hug the dog if you want. And hey, it's it's Doom with uh, Luke now. Yeah, special guest on this uh, this segment yeah, of uh, Doom Two. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I'm well, just using that. I don't what know. Is... <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Okay. I'm really uncoordinated, so hold up. I can do it for you if you want me to. Oh fuck it, yeah. <laughs> I'm really tired. No, yeah. yeah, you're good. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, cool. Learning. So you grip it like that. Yeah. And you scoop this under here. <laughs> and then you just do like a lever action. You guys like can't you can't yeah, see it right now, cool. but Luke is literally creating Nate, Nate's balls. <laughs> <laughs> you grab this right here, you scoop it right here, and then Yeah. Okay, I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm, scooping, I'm scooping my balls. Tastes tastes like like practice. <laughs> you can't drink it until you <laughs> <laughs> This is the best oh, episode. We're already Almost. off to a great start. <laughs> Almost. Like kind of like where the meat is of your <laughs> of your finger. Now I'm losing focus because I'm laughing. I'm sorry. Here you go. All right. So Skills. The, the yeah, meat. Okay, meat. Yeah. Right there. I see my meat. Yeah. And then you have it like that. So okay. it's like a lever. And okay. then really you want to put all the pressure on the end of it. Okay. On the tip. I just didn't want to fuck up your. No, cheers. you're good. Okay. <laughs> cheers. Putting all the pressure on the tip. Oh, yes. cheers. Thank you. We got it on a microphone too. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. That's a, that's a good. That's a good cider. There you go. So what's new with you, Luke? Uh, we're gonna record two more parts of this, and then an unboxing, and then more gigs. Nice. I got a box. You wanted a box. I got a box. Nice. He's got a box. So oh. everybody. I'm oh no, frothy man. <laughs> with a frothy plan. Okay. Uh, would you listen to a band called Frothy Plan, Luke? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Swallowing my drink. Um. <laughs> frothy what? <laughs> 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 and everybody, it's Luke again. <laughs> frothy plan. Froth, frothy plan. Yeah. You with, know, with their hit single, what? Oh No, Too Much Froth. What genre would they be? Uh, gr- punk. So it's like... Oh no, the foam, it's everywhere. Not, not only... <laughs> Not only would I listen to that band, I would be a part of that band. <laughs> what would you play? <laughs> what would you play in Frothy Plan? Uh, the synthesizer. <laughs> what? I'd play the triangle. <laughs> Dude, the synthesizer. The cowbell. <laughs> no, a synthesized cowbell. Every single one of your keys is just a different cowbell. <laughs> That's right. I'm Ooh. glad Luke is here. He, he, he makes the videos better. Thank you again, good sir. Um... What else was I going to talk about today, Vince? Uh, on the recording, of course, because uh, I don't want to slander myself with peanut butter. What? <laughs> with what? <laughs> Slandered peanut butter. I, I, I couldn't think of anything, so I thought of peanut butter. Nice. I'm, I'm, I'm combining all my jokes together, guys. I do apologize. <laughs> hmm. Whatever happened with blood raining it? Oh, we beat it. We beat it. Yeah, you were, you were, you were here. Oh, <laughs> nice. I mean, I was kind of here. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, you were there. You weren't here for the actual like dethroning of the main boss. Like we, yeah, we fought, fought, fought. Yeah, we were here till like eleven a.m. the next day. And <laughs> how did I get a blue key? I don't know. Oh, where did I get a blue key? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, we were getting blue cheese. <laughs> You're talking about uh, scooping and oh yeah, and the pulling meat, yeah. and the meat and the tip. Yeah, oh, that's right. Uh, so you guys like tri tip meat? Love tri tip steak. Tri tip steak is steak is delicious. What is your favorite cut of steak? Uh, Oops. flank, flank steak. You know what? I've been buying a lot of steak recently. From Omaha. I have not been paying attention to the types of steaks. <laughs> You're just like, like look at this. <laughs> look at this. I'm gonna grill this. Luke's and just like go meat. <laughs> meat. Yep. Meat. That's pretty much it. Because I've been uh, actually working out quite a bit. That's good. Getting swole. Yeah, getting I'm, swolled I'm, up. I'm still tumpy, so. <laughs> <laughs> but but being tumpy is fine though. Yeah. I need to get buff. I need the all steak diet like Luke has. Yeah. The all steak diet? You yeah, know? The, the all <laughs> steak steak. Yeah, you, you talk to Flo. Wait, no, it's progressive. Never mind. <laughs> I'm combining all my jokes again. That's all steak snacks. <laughs> you get an all state steak. It has a discount and rate, but it's made of plastic. It's got Flo's face on it. It's literally expired by 10 days. <laughs> <laughs> it's greener on the outside. And you're like, eh, I, I got it at a discounted rate. Here we go. Okay, what is the oldest food you ate out of date that was still good? Oh, God. Uh, okay, so I have, a, I have a kind of a story to go with this one a little bit. All right, sweet. Um, story time. So Vince knows what this product is called Soylent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I yeah. know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, is it green? So, no, okay. it's not green. Okay, it's kind of like paper mache is the consistency of it. Okay. Yeah. That's and odd. it's basically like uh, everything that you need to survive all in one drink. Okay. And so you, yeah, anyway. That this makes is, sense. This is like all you drink all day, whatever. What was that? Sorry, and, no, know. you're fine. Uh, <laughs> on Craigslist, I in the free section, okay. I found like a shitload of Soylent. Nice. Um, and on the listing, the guy had put on there a good chunk of it is expired. Okay. So I kind of figured, okay, well, I'll go pick it up anyway because it's free. I'm not paying anything. Mm -hmm. He lives like right next to my house. And I'm, I'll just throw out all the expired stuff and I'll... You know, drink the, the good stuff. Yeah, just drink the good stuff. So I get all of it. I get, I get it all home. Un, you know, put it all in my house. Yeah. And turns out, not even one box was good. <laughs> all of it was expired. Oh dear. And this was like the expiration date was like June of 2017. <laughs> <laughs> You're uh, like, um. I tried it just just to see. Um, it still like, tasted fine. Okay. However. I'm too nervous to drink anymore. <laughs> I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> put it in the trash. Yeah. <laughs> put, it in, put it in the bin. You try mixing it with ranch dressing, even that, is, <laughs> that, does, that just that just doesn't make it good either. It was a ter just trust me, it was a terrible idea. Okay. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice go meat wall. Boxes upon boxes of soil and shit. If you want me uh, expired soil, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds. Like I, I'm I'm scared enough to try the real. <laughs> that, that, sounds, that, stuff. that sounds like one of those things that the FBI tracks on text. They're like, "What the hell is expired soil in here? <laughs> <laughs> we better find out where this guy's going." Yeah. <laughs> okay. What What about you, Vince? I once ate. Uh, what was What was it? There was because like my work always just throws expired food in there, and I got a free burrito. And that was like two weeks out of date, and it was a steak and egg burrito, and I didn't die. Oh, God. I didn't notice until I half ate it, and then I like, it was, it was kind of frozen in the middle, you know what I'm saying? So I went back and got the wrapper for cooking instructions, and it had a big sticker that said it was two weeks out of date, and I was like, mm. <coughs> whoopsie doodles. So, Vince, uh, what's new in the world of sanity? Um, my schedule's changing. Woo! I don't like that, so we can go to earlier recordings yeah. and earlier workouts. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna be start joining Luke to, yeah, you know, get swole. Yeah, <laughs> swole up. I need to get swole as well. And, and the famous words of every douchebag ever: "Don't lift weights, don't get dates." <laughs> have you heard that rhyme, Luke? I have not actually. If you're not gonna rap it, go home and whack it. I've told, <laughs> I've told that one to Vince a couple of times. That was funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep elbowing Vince. <laughs> I'm just really upset. I keep elbowing him. But no, uh, what is uh, a show that... Okay, I was talking to Vince about this in the last episode, but I want your opinion, Luke. What's a show that you really, really loved until the last episode? Like, mm. the last episode made you upset or angry or question your life choices? There, There's a couple shows like that, but, mm -hmm. you know, I gotta bring up Merlin. 
I've never seen the end of Merlin. No? No. Is it bad? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I should, like, give away the ending. I mean, the show's really old. It's not like I'd be really spoiling yeah, it. Yeah, well, then you just say spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Okay, go ahead. Okay, spoilers. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, Merlin... Uh, King Arthur dies. Yes. Who he's, like, protecting. Yeah. Um, which is fine. That that part was done well. Um, but then the end of the Merlin, he, like, makes it to the future, like, modern day, where there's, like, cars and yeah. all this other stuff. Um, he's, in, like, an old man. It's very, like, uneventful. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Just boring. And we got progress. Like, I don't understand why they even put that little bit in the end. There's a lot of shows that I would, like, question why they put, like, an entire season in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's a show that was really crappy in the last season? I didn't ask that yet. How about that 70s show? Perfect example. Uh, I can't even remember, though. Uh, the last is Scrubs. Oh, no. Scrubs sucked in the last season of it. Oh, Jesus. Hey, thank you, Do you remember the end of Scrubs? It didn't have JD. I didn't even watch it. Not the end of Scrubs. No, I watched, like, the, the first, final like, season was seasons. so horrible. It wasn't the same show. Didn't, didn't it not have Zach Brandt or John C. McGinley? I don't think it had either of those dudes. And those two made the show, in my opinion. Yeah. I just like John C. McGinley. He's hilarious. Have you seen Stand Against Evil? That's no. A, are you stuck? I haven't even heard I of that. I think I'm stuck. Uh, Did it, you just screw your, press right there? Push the secret button. <laughs> There's no secret button. <laughs> Hit the hey, secret button. Hey, there is a secret button. I was getting button. worried there for a second. <laughs> but yeah, Stand Against Evil is an Ash vs. Evil Dead parody. And it's, oh, okay. But instead of that, it is uh, John C. McGinley who literally just plays an all-drunk sheriff, and the curse of the village he goes to, like, the town, ever since, like, the 1800s, is any sheriff in the, those parts is cursed to get attacked by demonic presences. So, oh. like, demons, zombies... Press play, uh, wait, wait, wait. Am I missing Miss, something? I'm sorry. Yeah. I think so. Okay, go up there. I'm sorry, I didn't even catch you off. It's okay, it's all good, man. I think I see his problem. So, oh, that wait, go, get on that one. Yeah, no. is, is that some Minecraft okay. TNT? Get on that one. Okay. So jump on it, onto it. Before it goes right up. There. Now, no, yeah, it goes up. Now get up, step off onto the ledge there. Now press it right there. Oh, okay, good call. Dude. Yep. Nice. I've played so, I've literally played so much Doom. And now you just gotta go to those schools. So you have the red key already. Yep. Hey. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Suburbia. That was kind of a horrible. It's like the dark, 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 dark. Zero sister. secrets. Yeah. I didn't win with them. At least you uh, killed everyone. Yeah. <laughs> That's Probably I, more long, long lines just because you spent so much time on the level. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, I probably haven't been here yet. Yeah. Blam. Mm. What? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was, you just seemed really, uh, really to enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. that strong bow. It's tasty, dude. Try the, try the orange blossom. It tastes just like flowers. Are we start? Are we starting the next mission? Oh yeah, <laughs> I was there waiting for it to load. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta press a button. Oh, I was questioning I life at one point. Start the next episode or something. Song yeah, that's what I was thinking too. You still yeah. got two minutes. Oh my neck. Oh. What is ow? What is oh. the? What is the weirdest injury you so got? Saw boy up in here. Oh, Bobby me. Grand Game, <laughs> me row. What is the weirdest injury you ever sustained doing a mundane task? And don't make a masturbation joke. I was going to make that. <laughs> no, no normal task, like writing a letter, you know, hammering a nail. What's the worst injury you got? The worst injury. Well, I was playing with Legos one time. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm on here. Outside. Mostly. Ouch. I was on, I was playing, like there was a speed bump, right? Yes. And I was making the Legos jump over. Oh! Oh, oh shit. Load it. Soldier yeah. boy up in this load. You might still be my... No. Hey! Oh, 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 alive. There you go. I live. So, uh, live yeah, I was and playing with live. Legos when yes. I was seven years old, and okay. I was making him jump over the speed bump that was on yes. the street. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I hear this, like, crunching of gravel behind me. Yeah. And I turn around, and it is a vehicle rolling down a hill towards me. Yeah. No one inside the vehicle. Really? Yep. Holy crap. I started screaming, and it didn't stop, and that's when I realized no one was in it. Yeah. And it literally rolled over me. Wow. Yep. That is a mundane task injury. <laughs> that one-ups the hell out of mine. Yeah. <laughs> I got a pretty big settlement out of it, yeah. though, I'm not going to lie. Nice. So who, I paid who, for my who? truck. <laughs> <laughs> How did you... Yeah, it was like two years ago, too. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I can just see Luke, like... Just playing with like, <laughs> <laughs> like twenty. Okay, I can I can see that too. 
It, like, come on, we have to fight the Death Star. And the car just comes out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Luke, that was funny. <laughs> but yeah, I was just going to talk about, like, mundane cooking injuries. Like, you were taking yams out of the oven and you burned your hand. Or you were writing. Oh, no, Invisible Beast. Or you I got were... a pretty bad uh, scar back here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, from when I was taking, like, it was cookies or brownies or something out of the oven. Ouch. And I burned my hip on it. I don't even know how I managed to... <laughs> to, to get hip to trade. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I have a little tiny scar, like, right on my arm. You can see it right there, kind of. It's right there. I just when I got a drop of something hot, really hot on my arm. Yeah. And then I was an idiot, and I picked it like an idiot, and then it scarred, you know? Quick you question. You know how it is. Oh, God. Yeah, continue. Does anyone know oh, the, the storyline for Doom? Uh, you are mad as hell, and you go to hell to re wreak hell. Kind of. Okay. You go to Mars for a research expedition. Uh, yeah. And well, so then you go to hell. <laughs> yeah. The reason you're on Mars, actually, it's the it's a I think it's a moon base. Honestly. Yeah, it, in in one of them is a moon base. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's like the first one. I don't remember. Oh, nice. I know that. Uh, so part of it is is that you're a mercenary or um, a marine. A marine. There, that's it. That's the one. You're a marine, and um, I think he assaulted his like off Wife. his his. Uh, you can, that's, I think you can go through there. No. Oh, okay. Well, you do have the red key. It's, I, think I think there's, there's a, a yellow. There's like yeah. a switch somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yellow key. Oh, yellow key. Okay. Anyway, um, I think you assault, like, your boss or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so he sends you, as punishment, he sends you to be security on the moon base. Okay. And in this alternate reality, on the moon base, they are experimenting with portals, actually. Like yeah, tele remember, teleportation. Yeah, and remember, Vince, the Reaper is heat seek, so watch out. Oh, yeah. Um, that. That's fun. And so, basically, it goes awry, and then they open up a gate to an alternate dimension, which is mm -hmm. hell, and there you and go. now you're you here. Hell on yep. Earth. <laughs> you have to go to hell because you assaulted your wife. I'm making a different story. <laughs> <laughs> he slapped his wife. He slapped... <laughs> Yep, yep, she took his Legos, so he went to the space court. <laughs> he went to the space court. And they're like, well, now you're going to go to hell now. <laughs> Do I get to keep my Legos? We are giving your Legos custody to your wife. <laughs> Why are you laughing at my jokes, Vince? Concentration. Luke, Luke thinks I'm funny. <laughs> What is the funniest accent you can do that actually sounds like a real accent? Oh God, don't even no. Because we were doing we were doing we were doing funny voices in the uh, ending of freaking Blood Rain, and it was funny. Uh, if you remember, Mr. Vinny Show himself, it was one of the best. Vinny Show. Vinny oh, Shows. I need to bring that up again because it's funny. I think that I know the best story that Luke did on that entire thing oh, was the stupid. was uh, when we tried to save Mr. Lincoln from getting assassinated. <laughs> That's probably oh the, what was like most my story. I don't even remember. <laughs> you need to watch it again. I'm always so drunk. I don't remember half the shit I say. It was really funny though. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln. This all you remember, it, right, Vince? You edited it. You should know. <laughs> I you uploaded it. You uploaded it. You unloaded it. I don't. Was I the one that said Mr. Lincoln? Yeah, because I was. I was Abe Lincoln, and you were trying to prevent me from getting assassinated. So, oh my god, I don't remember so, any of it. <laughs> so, so I was talking and I was like, ha ha, this is a good play. And you were like, Mr. Lincoln! <laughs> I don't know why, but that was really funny. Good well, times. shit, I need to drink some more beer, I think. Yeah, I'm almost done with my strong boat. Hold there's up. My, there's my first one. Mm. Elysium is good. Yeah. I, well, that's the movie. Crap, that's a movie. You, okay, Vince, uh, what's your favorite movie with Charlotte Copley in it? I think we talked about this before, but I just want to make sure. Elysium. Is it Elysium? Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Luke, what's your favorite uh, Charlotte Copley movie? I don't even know who that is. See, I was trying to, I was trying to tell Luke about this today, because I was like... <laughs> You're like, who is Charlotte Copley? Yeah, uh, that name sounds like a made-up name. Like, <laughs> you just fucking pulled it out of your ass, and you're no, trying to no, trick he, me. And, and he, like, oh, yeah, it's that one. <laughs> No, how he got his name is he picked up a Scrabble board and threw it across the room. <laughs> and whatever <laughs> And he's like, oh, that works, boy, Keith. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I said. And Luke's like, what's that from? I'm like, it's Charlton Copley? You know who Charlton Copley? He's like, who the fuck is Charlton Copley? Copley? 
<laughs> and then the next thing I I I he turned around and he was gone. Like he's like <laughs> Yeah, he's like I don't want to talk he's to like, Charles Copley anymore. Did I have to go to a break or something? Maybe? No, you had to go home. It was yeah, you, Oh you, shit. You left because you were sick You're of like, hearing Peace about out. I'm not working anymore. I'm going home. <laughs> It's his curse. Yeah, he's, he's forced to leave when he hears my show for Copley doing yeah. <laughs> I don't want to learn about him. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, who's your least favorite actor? Let's let's just get that out, out of the way. Least I've never favorite. I've never talked about this in the show, have I, Vince? I don't think so. I don't. I, I've, I've you complained know, it's about probably, a few for me actors. It's the Rock. What? Yeah, I don't like the. You, like, you don't like Dwayne the Cocksock Johnson? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but he, what the hell are you stuck? Okay, good. You're good. I just got to back out. Okay, and, I'm back and it, you know that might change to John Cena. They <laughs> <laughs> just hate wrestler actors. Yeah. <laughs> well, the apparently one. he started a movie like uh, recently. Which one? Oh yeah. no, it was, it, was, it was Blockers. He was in Blockers. I, I Cock Blockers. Watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that movie looks terrible because every single like preview okay, is so John Cena but John fighting. Cena <laughs> it, it's literally no it's the whole movie it's just a two hour loop of his theme song <laughs> that's all people paid for they come to the theaters and, and then it shows like the splash for cock blockers I'd rather watch and a then, ten hour loop of it on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like the title cast comes in and it's like starring this lady this lady <laughs> John Cena <laughs> <laughs> and then two hours later, you're still watching the same loop of him just salooning <laughs> and pile driving people. Jesus Christ! Sounds like Would a you? great movie. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> now I want to go watch it. And then rotten. You just convinced him. <laughs> rotten Tomatoes praise. Never mind. He's blockers. my favorite actor. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the scene when he was pile driving? Dead that guy? bodies watching me. <laughs> but the bodies hit the floor. Actually, he's rotating though. <laughs> yeah, he's he's watching me. I always he's feel alive. Like Somebody's watching okay. me. Because I'm about to grab this heart and I know shit's going to go down for you. Give me your heart. I always ask girls for my their heart. This is what I meant. I want to put it on a pedestal. What if uh, you Fuck, saw... Fuck, I love the shotgun in this game. Just the it's regular so good. shotgun. It's... No, the super shotgun sucks. The regular shotgun is so good. The, the super shotgun's good, too. Uh, it's, just, it's just the I reload just love, speed. Yeah, I love the look of the regular shotgun. You can't do anything. It's so fucking nice. You can't nice. do anything to it. You can't even do anything. At least blue doesn't hurt you. Or I'm does? blue. I it's just water. Oh, oh, nice. Skelly same. Look at his sphincter. What, what do you call those things? Caca demons? No, they're cacao demons. Cacao, cacao demons? Cacao. Yeah. Cacao. Like, it's like chocolate. Cacao demons. Cacao demons. <laughs> I told Vince about this on his Doom 1 Let's Play. Uh, Doom, to celebrate the launch of the new Doom that came out in 2016, had cacao demons, which were cho chocolate cacao demons. <laughs> I really wanted to buy one, but I couldn't. Like I, They ran out at every place that was selling them, like G-Stop and Best Buy and stuff. So I was like, I don't need one. And I bet by now they'd be all waxy and stuff. <laughs> have you ever... Okay. Did you, have you ever bought, like, Halloween or Valentine's candy on clearance, and then oh, yeah. you, like, find it, like, seven months later, and it's all waxy and nasty, oh, where you're shit. like... You're like, fuck it, I paid for these Butterfingers, I'm gonna eat them. I recently I purchased a box of chocolates for my wife mm -hmm. from Big Lots. Mm. I'll never do it again. No, I swear, Big Lots, what they do is that little square. There you go. Oh, there you go, good. There you go. It's, like, Big Lots is oh, just, just like a uh, fucking grocery outlet. When they're like, oh, nice. See, oh. he, he leaned forward to get to, to jump right. Yeah, he did. <laughs> was like, every muscle in his body just tensed up there. It's like, just, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's just it's just like a grocery outlet when you go in there. It's like yeah. almost going to expire, but it's super hella cheap. Big Lots is the same. But the thing is, the chocolates weren't that cheap. Oh, they um, weren't? They were oh, Russell shit. Stoven. Russell Stouffer. Or Stouffer. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a knockoff brand. It was Russell Stouffer. <laughs> <laughs> is that the Russian version? <laughs> it's Russell Stoven. <laughs> well, my bad. <laughs> Maybe that was my problem. <laughs> but it was like, it was like $10. Nice. I, oh, yeah, no. I can't pass that up. It's not cheap for me. You take it up to the cashier. Is this a genuine Stoven? <laughs> is this a genuine st Russian Stoven? <laughs> Turn around, Vince, you have to hit the button. I'm just giggling up a storm today. I don't want to turn around when I'm still alive. Wait, is... Oh, the heater's still on, yeah? Okay, we're oh, good. We're 24 minutes into this episode. Are you serious? Oh, you're yeah. frothing. Don't worry about... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Alright. That's good. So that's okay. going to do it for this extended... Extended so... Extreme extended stone. Don't worry, this, this should get him frothing at the gash. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next adventure of Doom, Doom. 2. Later, dudes. Later, dudes.